uh, Norm from Multi Shelter Solutions. In today's video, we'll be talking about one of the more popular pages on our website, which has to do with structure options. The big area where we have flexibility in supplying different shapes and sizes of buildings is with the six different lengths of steel that we have to choose from and the fact that we don't bend anything before we get an order. So all of our structures are peaked and join in the middle. So by taking a different length of steel, we can either make the building to come down lower, if that's what the goal is, or by adding the length going in a higher shape. When we go with a higher shape, the biggest advantage is encouraging snow shedding. That of course is a concept that many of our customers are dealing with. So not only does a structure when it is peaked in straight up like this, it sheds snow quicker, but also when you do get the accumulated uh, buildup of snow along the sides, it is not a problem. You don't have to remove it as quick because the weight of the snow is much more vertical than lateral against the side of the buildings. When you have a building that has a fairly low profile and the snow is three feet deep, much of the weight is coming sideways and it would be important to remove that snow, especially if the snow is more on one side than, than it is on the other side. Now, when the structure is made taller, as I said, it sheds snow. One of the things that you have to watch for, though, is the longer that the straight part is coming down from the peak before it starts to curve around, the longer that it is, the more resistance the building has to shedding snow. So when you have a shape with a fairly short straight piece before curving around, um, that is a shape that will uh, shed the snow much, much quicker. One of the things that we have also done, we have a series of buildings called the cathedrals, which are for customers that need a lot more head space than floor space. So when you take that same shape that has coming around like this and make it more coming almost vertical on the sides, you're creating that straight wall and then a curve, which provides a lot of clearance for things like motorhomes, uh, big boats, parking tractor trailers, that kind of thing. Now, um, another shape that we do, um, or we've had requests quite often, is what we call a space saver, which is something that comes fairly flat and then a sharp bend and straight down. That is a shape that we typically discourage because basically three things against it. One, you've got a fairly flat top, so it doesn't shed the snow, but it has a really sharp corner, which really stresses the steel, and then you've got a vertical wall, which catches snow, or sorry, wind. The, you know, it is a shape that provides you a little bit more room, close, right close to the edge, but when you compare that to our high profile structure, it's only in the first foot, that you have a little bit less room on the high profile versus the space saver. But once the space saver comes like this and the high profile goes up like this, once you pass that one foot in, um, you're actually having um, more room and you, you're getting good wind deflection, you're getting good snow shedding. One of the things that unfortunately it does impact when we change the shapes of this, it does make some of the shapes um, a little bit harder to um, to get engineer approved drawings for so that's something that you need to be uh, of concern uh, some of the officials will take the the fact that it's exactly the same package except squeeze a little bit so they recognize that there's less snow but that's not always the case the other thing that will impact going high profile or or the lower one a lower one is going to cost you less to heat um, as opposed to the higher one. The higher one gives you a bigger air space, so there's more room to heat. If this is an unheated application, it definitely favors the higher one because when you have that bigger air volume, um, the temperature is much slower to change. So you're going to get 
much more cushion for cold in an unheated situation. So that is a little bit of an introduction to, uh, to what we do, some of the different uh, things that come into play. Uh, we look forward to uh, spending time with you on the next video.